What is going on everybody? It's Alex with El Gigante Gaming. Got another unboxing video for you guys. This one I've been on the fence just cause I didn't want to open it, but I was like, you know what? The packaging just looks awesome. And I, I'm just like at the point where now I just want to just get them out the box. I've had it for a couple weeks now. The uh, Power Rangers Lightning Collection, Lord Draken Evil 3. The Hasbro Pulse exclusive. That was at the Hasbro Pulse Con exclusive. I was able to snag this the day of and then I think what the same day if not the next day it was sold out. Very fortunate to grab him and wanted to keep him in the box because like I said the packaging just looks so awesome. He looks awesome inside the box because of the window packaging but I'm just at this point where I'm like man you know what I need to let this figure breathe and you know display him with my other villain rangers so we can check him out. Let's go and get this sleeve taken off so I can show you guys what we're looking at. You want to check it out. Look at that. Clear cover, which is pretty cool on the top, what I just took off. It says the same thing all across the board, so I'm really not gonna go into too much. But this right here, that's what I talked about, man. I mean, look at that. Look at it, it looks just awesome displayed. You got Tommy right there as Lord Dragon, of course, and then you have the Ranger helmets right here. We'll take those out and then we'll we'll do close-ups of them, but they're all damaged. You got the whole lightning effect. You got his hub over there can see it in the corner. You got the lo the Lord Draken on the side. I believe this is a comic, which is pretty damn dope. Shattered Grid, Power Rangers. So I don't know if I'm, I don't know if it's a comic or a backdrop. So we'll probably take that out so we can look at that too as well. And then we got this right here on that side too. So same thing. First off, let's see if we can get this taken out without doing too much damage to it. Oh, it's and it's taped. So we can we can get that off. Let me see. Perfect. I think it's the same thing for that one. And take it off like that. It's okay. But let's see what this is all about. Is it a comic or is it just a backdrop? I think it's a backdrop, but we'll see. It's a pretty dope back cover though right there. You can see how he's got, you know, the the damaged ranger helmets on the lightning effects, which is pretty dope. I think it's just a pretty back, pretty cool backdrop. You can maybe try and frame it. I think that would look pretty dope. But I just want to show you guys. Nothing on the back. Just cardboard, but Pretty cool, probably keep it in that plastic, you know, covering for right now until I can get a, like a case for it or like a small frame and then put it on there. So I think that would look pretty dope, but we'll put this off to the side and I'll keep it with the box right now. But let's go and get this bad boy open. But on the back, it says the evil Lord Draken keeps the helmets of defeated Power Rangers as his trophies, displaying them by his throne to strike fear into the hearts of those who would oppose him. So that's pretty damn dope. Let's go and get it opened up. So we finally got Lord Draken out of the packaging and it's quite a bit of stuff in there. It wasn't nothing too crazy, but just wanted to show you guys everything that he came with aside from the two interchangeable hands. I already went ahead and put his Saba right there in his little holster where you can carry it right there, pretty good. Just have to just lift up his hand a little bit. You can see it right there. And then you got the face, dragon face without the helmet. But look at that, man. I mean, if you just look at the quality of the figure, the color is really dope. His cape gives me like that spawn type of vibe, in my opinion. But you can keep going through it, man, it looks awesome. Tommy looks really good. Evil Tommy. Zoom in right there. Look at his face. Really not too much articulation because of the cape and then the hair. But you can see the veins right there. And then if you turn it on this side, you got the other veins right there. We can't do it too much. Well, let's see if we can get him to stand right there just for right now. And then it also comes with his helmet, which this is how I'm going to keep him on there anyways with the helmet. I just love the way that freaking dragon dragon's helmet looks. Let's see if we can get that focus. There we go. Awesome. Check that out. Really good looking helmet. Love the colors. So 
put that on there. And then I wanted to show you guys the accessories, like the base and everything. So this right here, I was looking at the back of the packaging, the back of the box, and this looks like you can wrap it around Draken to kind of give him like that lighting effect, which I think is pretty damn dope. I love the whole lighting collection, how they're dropping all this stuff. And then you, let me just set this off to the side if it stands. <laughs> all right, we'll just leave it right there. And then you have this, which I think is pretty neat because it has a spot to where it can sit in the base but look at this man and i think these come off actually so you got the damaged ranger helmets which that's freaking so sick and like you can put draken like standing on you know one leg on the rocks like he defeated all the rangers which that's so freaking sick but this is what i was talking about so you have this right here and hasbro was pretty smart and they put that little you know i guess peg right so all you gotta do is just push it in there and voila, it fits perfect. So it kind of gives it like that whole lighting effect. You know what I mean? Like it just, you know, he's taking over and um, you know, it just, it just adds, it adds to the scenery, to what you're, to your display, what you're trying to do, which I think is awesome. The whole lighting collection, I like the line, but I want to say you can pop these off or do you pull them off or pop them off? Let me see. Cause I've seen people pose, or I've seen people put the damaged ranger helmets. Oh yeah, you see right here? It's kind of like on a little peg. So you should be able just to, yeah, pretty neat. See? But for right now, I'm just gonna keep the damaged helmets on here just because I think it just gives it, you know, such a freaking awesome vibe and then look. But let's take Draken's head off and then let's see if we can put the um the helmet on not too bad my boys we've been playing the the battle for the grid game with my sons and you know they love dragon i love playing as him too but he kind of gives you a little bit more articulation now that you have the head on because you don't have the hair covering the back of the cape which i think is smart but i'm definitely going to keep him posed with the helmet on and the cape but damn man that's a, just a sweet looking figure so i think you get the whole full 360 yep with it on which is really good oh let's put it back on there we go so and then let's get him posed but i'm gonna keep him like that holding his saba but man check that out that's a freaking dope figure. I mean, before he came in, Zed and Rita were my favorite Rangers from the Lightning Collection as far as villains goes. But man, like, you know, seeing this one in person and finally open him. Yeah, it definitely was worth it to get him open and taken out of the box. But let me just set this back in the right way again. And then let's see if I can get this wrapped around Draken. Which you put his feet maybe like right here freaking dope i mean am i gonna display it with the lightning on him like that probably not around him i just wanted to show you guys so that way you can see what everything came in the box aside from the two interchangeable hands but he kind of sizes up pretty good next to like for example you got goldar right here the gamestop one so that looks pretty damn dope man you know, having like the villains together. So I have my own like Power Ranger shelf with my villains. And then I have my other shelf with my Rangers. But I love the figure. I love the look of it. The accessories that came with it. I mean, Hasbro did really good with it. Is it, Do I feel like maybe he's probably going to get re-released later on down the road? Yeah, I think so. But you're probably not going to get all the accessories and everything that he came with. I think main, the main thing with this whole like exclusive with the Hasbro Pulse is the damage helmets right here and the lighting effects he's a sweet looking figure man i'm glad i jumped on it honestly i just I, I love the way he looks i'm gonna see if i can get like a little frame for that picture poster in the back to kind of maybe put it with them somehow i mean look at that man look at the the picture you know the artwork you got all the helmets right there red yellow green pink damage same thing red green pink yellow so it's pretty cool man just do a quick 360 but yeah, super happy with the figure. I'm glad I finally opened it. I think I've had it in the box now for what? Like 
going on two weeks, I think, unopened, and I've been just staring at it. No, my boys have been asking dad, when are you gonna open your, your Lord Dragon? Awesome looking figure, Hasbro knocked it out of the park with this one. Do I see them releasing him again in the future? Yes, I do, maybe just without all the accessories. It'll probably just maybe be the figure, his Saba, and you know, the head, interchangeable hands, but you're probably gonna be missing out on all this. I mean, retail is what, $49.99, and then if you're Hasbro Pulse member, you get free shipping, so. You can't beat that, especially now with what he's going for on the aftermarket. Pretty much, pretty much double what you get him for retail. But you know, I know he sold out. He probably can't, you know, get him on Hasbro web website unless you go through, you know, aftermarket, eBay, uh, Facebook Marketplace, Macari, etc. So yeah, that wanted to go ahead and do a quick review on the figure, so that way you guys can check him out. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. I got some more videos going to be pumping out for you guys. Uh, figure reviews, uh, video games. I'm, I'm getting everything set up um, with, with my streaming. So that's going to be coming very soon. Um, I did just, it's just a lot more work than I thought it was. You know, it's, it's, it's not, you know, it's not plug and play. It's not ready to go. So more videos coming out for you guys. Don't forget to like, subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with all new videos coming soon. Let me know too on the Instagram page, El Gigante 13 Let me know what you guys wanna see. I mean, I'll definitely try and see if I can find it. It'd be nice to hear from you guys too as well as far as what you wanna see in the future as far as content, unboxing, gaming, and whatnot. And maybe I'll try and put some polls out too, some surveys, just to kind of get a feel from what everybody wants to see. Uh, but yeah, let me know what you think of the video. Awesome figure, Hasbro. Definitely not knocked it out of the park with this one. Love the accessories, love the figure, the color. It's just super dope, man. Uh, but I'll catch you guys on the next video.